Hello, procrastinator tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past with me, Blue Ankylo. In our last episode, we explored the village and uh, decided, enough messing around, let's get on with the game. <laughs> I've showed you guys the basic rundown of the, uh, the overworld. We haven't done anything by any stretch, but uh, we haven't done everything by any stretch, but uh, you should know where all the basic stuff is now, uh, for the most part. And... Uh, yeah, so now we're going to go where they've told us to go, which is, uh, well, where the X on the, X marks the spot on the map. Kind of where all those statues were. You can see it right over there. No, no big deal. Oh, oh, sorry. Although, there is one thing we ought to do first. Just because, just because, I happen to have a, a mushroom, right? You guys remember that last episode? I picked a mushroom up. Maybe the witch would like it. Mmm, the smell of rotten fruit. If you give me that mushroom, I can finish my brew. <laughs> Good laugh, old lady. Good laugh. All right, have your mushroom. <laughs> Thank you, young man. Come back to the shop later for something good. <laughs> I hope she's not going to eat us. <laughs> so, um, is it, I think we have to come back later, later. Yeah, it just tells you red is healing, green is magic, blue is everything, blah, blah, blah. And she does heal you, of course. We did this before, though. Anyway, I don't think, uh, yeah. I think we get a free potion later on or something. It just, it's not the time. It's not the time. It's not the time, guys. All right. Anyway, let's just head on down here. And we'll be fine. Also, you know, there's something I was meaning to show you that I forgot about. Remember that bee I captured back in the town? I wonder what you can do with a bee. Go, my babies. Kill. Sick them. Ha ha. Kill. Excellent. Now, kill this guy up here. Where'd he go? Kill him. Good job. Kill, bee, kill. Ha ha ha. Excellent. Yes, my little pet. Kill them all. Kill that guy again. Oh, I ran out of time. Oh, well. Anyway, bees are fun. <laughs> it's nice to have a bee around. We also have a... We can catch fairies. We can catch bees. There's a few things that go in bottles, but it's not a whole lot. Let's so probably just ignore those guys. I seem to get hit by them more often than not. If, if I just... That was very close. You almost got me. You almost got me. All right. Okay. So this is the area I sort of avoided a couple episodes ago. Uh, but now let's do it. I also got 500 rupees. Wow. Feels like I should be buying stuff. Like a shovel or something. Um, I think I said might not be necessary. Anyway, uh, I think this is where the map was telling us to go. So let's just go here. Hey, old man, are you the village elder? I am indeed, Sahasharala, the village elder, and a descendant of the seven wise men. Oh, really? Blue, I'm surprised a young man like you is searching for the sword of evil's bane. Not just anyone can use that weapon. Legend says, only the hero who has won the three pendants can wield the sword. Do you really want to find it? Of course! Good. As a test, can you retrieve the pendant of courage from the East Palace? You're going to need it anyway. <laughs> if you bring it here, I will tell you more of the legend and give you a magical artifact. Now, go forward to the palace. Alright, alright. First though, I'm going to blow up your hole. Oh, right, I didn't have a bomb equipped. Where's my bomb? Where's my bomb at? And I'm gonna break your pots, because we always break everyone's pots. Okay, we got more bombs for spending one. Got some more money. Got a ton of money. Wow, we're rich. I really have too much money, actually. Probably gonna have 999 after the first level. <laughs> this is crazy. Anyway, this is the statue area. I don't really like the statue area much. Just too many statues. They're, they take like four hits like that, so they're kind of a pain. It's a bit of a maze, you know. Two spin attacks work pretty good. I'm not sure there's anything on the left. Let's just have a quick look. I don't want to miss anything for you guys, but uh, I don't want to waste too much time either. No, nah, there's nothing up there. Nothing up there. Kill it. Ah, I was hoping I'd get a double shot. Sometimes you get lucky. You've seen me kill soldiers with a double swing where they get hit twice with one animation. Ah, dead end again. Should have trusted my gut. I knew I should have gone straight right here. 
Let's just jump down here and go up this. And I think this is where we're supposed to be. Nearly? Well, this is looking promising. Mm, kill. Alright, statues are no match. This is looking promising. Alright. Yeah, this is it. No problemo. Level 1. Dun dun dun. Solving puzzles already. <laughs> uh, puzzles by standing on switches. Anyway, this is uh, this is the first level, in fact, and uh, yeah, it, it, the idea is uh, it's, it's mostly a tutorial dungeon that teaches you how uh, the mechanics of the game work, I would say. So, step on a switch, sometimes it opens stuff. And there's these weird little anemone type things, no big deal. Also, a, seat, a hidden switch. There you go. No problem. Okay. Oh, good. Marbles of Doom. You just have to, uh... Oops. No, no. Uh, you can't dodge the big ones, but... There are those little holes on the side I could have gone in or something if I wanted to. Could have hidden in the little narrow way alleyways. Oh, nice! More money! We're stinking rich! Isn't it so much better when you don't have to buy wallets or find wallets for your guy? Yeah, I think it's way better when you can just pick up money. You don't have to actually, you know, go out of your way to get a, a wallet, do a big side quest or something. <laughs> That's my my opinion. You can see some skeletons or bones. They're often called bones. Uh, those eye statues can be trouble too. Now, if I remember correctly, they will jump when we get close to them, unless you do that. So, maybe I should stop doing that so you can see what they do normally. There you go. That's what they normally do. You have, to, you have to get them stuck in a corner and then you can just chop them up. Not that tough. Uh, this looks kind of pointless. Nothing down here? Nah, there's nothing down there. Don't worry about it, guys. There's nothing down there. Alright. So yeah, the enemies don't respawn immediately, but they'll be back at some point. All oh, those things. Uh, I don't think I can kill those right now. Maybe with the boomerang? No. So let's just... Oh, maybe I can throw. No. Probably I don't have anything that works on it, to be honest. Although, a nice square room like this. It's always a good time to hit the walls for some secrets. Square rooms like that I often like to look for. For uh, treasure. Secrets. Alright, we got the map. You guys know how maps work, right? Uh, sorry, wrong button. Seems backwards. This is the X button that brings up the map. The start button brings up your inventory. It always seems backwards. So as you can tell, the first dungeon isn't that big either. So I'm expecting we can finish this in today's episode. It's not much bigger than that little mini uh, castle dungeon where we rescued the princess, to be honest. And in fact, you can see a large treasure chest up there. That's the dungeon item. Every dungeon has one special item, and that's the one for this one. You guys are no match for me. I know all your moves. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, good. I need some magic. I, I used up all my ice... <laughs> I used up all my mana on uh, <laughs> the, ice, uh, the ice wand earlier, so... Uh, you can pretty much guarantee some skeletons, yeah. It's also quite easy to kill them with uh, uh, pots. Pots do two damage, I think? If I haven't mentioned it already, they're pretty good. Lots of enemies died to pots. And for our trouble, a compass! Woohoo! It shows you where the boss is. Just like the one on the NES. I guess I could show you. Oops. X button. Yes, yes. So there you go. He's on the second floor at the end of a long hallway. Shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Oh, and there's a little hint. Blue! It is I, Sahasrala! I can talk to you telepathically when you touch these tiles. Here is a hint. You can use the treasure hidden in this palace to defeat armored foes. Okay. Whatever the treasure is, I better hope it's good. Oh, can't get up that way. It's a one-way rock passage, I think. Also, these are the little eye guys. Uh, they're kind of tough. So I'll be ignoring it for a second here. Give me the treasure. Ah! It's locked? If you had the big key, you might be able to open it. Yeah. 
As much as it's very tempting whenever you see one of those, you can't open it without the, uh, the, the big key. I'm just going to ignore those eye statues. They're not very nice. Let's go up here. Maybe this is what we need to go. Where we need to go. This is a pretty linear dungeon, in case you're wondering. Uh, that switch opened the door, so I could have run back. There's a locked door with a normal key. But we have no keys. We don't have a big key or a little key. Uh. Yeah, this room is definitely meant to be used as the uh, pick up a barrel or pick up a sorry pick up a pot and throw it at a skeleton. <laughs> All right, feeling pretty good. We've got more uh, green mana juice, and uh, we got our key, so we can go this way. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. I suppose, technically, most of the dungeons in this game are quite simple, the way I recall. They're not that hard to navigate your way through. Okay. Um, what are we doing in here? Killing skeletons and stuff. Hmm. I think, oops, shoot. I think pots work on these guys fairly well when their eye opens. There you go. Yeah, pots are the secret. What's this do? It does nothing! Excellent! A little nothing statue. Okay, killed everything. And then as soon as we killed everything, the uh, little Death Stars bubble type things. There you go. So that's the solution. You have to kill everything. And then you get the big key, which can open big blocks. Now it can't open all locks, just the big ones. So this is a big door. Oh, come on, get out of the way. They steal your mana, so that's not very nice. Um, they steal your mana. Uh, sorry. Yeah, the red bouncy things steal your mana, do a little bit of damage. Uh, the big key can open only big doors, um, like the one we just went through, and also this treasure chest. They cannot open the little key doors, though, unfortunately. You found the bow! Huzzah! Unlike the first Zelda, you don't have to use money to shoot it. You guys remember that? It also shoots really slowly. Like, it's not very impressive. I actually don't like the bow very much. Except for killing these guys. They're pretty weak against the bow. Uh, also, before I go in there, let's just jump in a pot. Woohoo! Jumping in pots! Yeah, fairies. This is a good time to check out our net. Oh shoot! I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I don't think they're going to come back either. Oh, I wanted to catch a fairy in a net. One more trick. Maybe the other one. You never know. It's possible. Oh, they do come back. Wow, very nice. Keep it in a bottle. Keep two in a bottle? Awesome. I wasn't sure they'd uh, respawn like that. Well, they do make the first dungeon easy. So we've got two fairies. Excellent. I'm going to have my bow out. Uh, the way these Zelda games generally work is whatever item you find in the dungeon is the one you want to keep equipped. Most of the time. Ah, oh, right. The uh, the bow shoots really slowly, yeah, yeah, in case you're wondering. There we go, got him. Oh. It takes them a long time to get it up, to get it uh, ready. So, like there's a long delay from when I click shoot to when it actually does shoot. So, something to keep in mind. If you're watching this wondering why I keep getting hit when I'm trying to shoot an arrow, it's because it's really slow. Oh, a money room! These are always fun. Not like I need it, but... Nothing you need to do in here. In fact, if you're low on life, you should probably avoid them, but... If you want to be rich like blue, there you go. Over 800. It's not quite 9,000, but it's not bad. It's not bad. So we're finally made to the, se the second floor. And as you may have noticed, the second floor was where the boss was, in fact. So, we must be getting close. I will try to do this without taking too much damage. It's a plan. Okay, these things. There we go. Whew, that was close. I wonder which, which switch do you think will open the door? Nope. 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 Plus one blue ankle point. One one blue ankle point if you guess the bottom one. Oh, the the bowling bell marble type floor. Why is it always the last one? Is it always the last one I step on? It's just my luck. 
Okay, let's kill these uh, skeletons first. They are easier than red eye things. Although the uh, oh, the pots don't work this time. Is that it? Try one more time. Nope, pots don't work. And it takes more than one arrow. Yeah, it's kind of like a mini boss. Not a very hard mini boss. Also, that little floor, that little uh, picture tends to mean the boss is right. Well, maybe not right here, but pretty close. Anyway, those guys are those guys are easy. All right. Chew. Next. Come on, open your eye. The good thing is that it has a very large knockback when you hit them with bow with arrows, so uh, that helps. That helps. It's just very slow to fire. Anyway, boss time. Oh, that was a waste. All right. So this is the statue boss. Um, if you remember what the uh, what's his name said, he said they're weak against uh, arrows for armored foes. So that was your secret. That was your that was your tip. I don't know how weak they are against it, but they work. This is not a very hard boss altogether. Just uh, playing with your arrows, basically. The last one, if I didn't kill him quickly, would have jumped on me, but uh, you know how it goes. <laughs> one boss down. Also, we've got our first pendant! Woohoo! It's green. And that's pretty nice. Happy music. You won the Pendant of Courage. Take it to Hacharala. Two pendants remain. And you get healed up and more mana and all that. And instantly teleported out. Good days, good days. Okay, uh, for this episode, I will do one more thing. We will actually take it back to Sahasarala. Just uh, just to turn it in. Turn the quest in. Uh, although you can see there on the right side, we've got the green pendant. Only two to go. And then the game will be over. I'm sure it'll be that easy. We'll just pick up a pendant and then we'll go uh, kill Ganon. Or, sorry, a Ganon. <laughs> Okay, I did go down there, right? So I've been I've actually been here before. I kinda went the wrong way. I was trying to explore the uh the bottom right area of the uh statue maze and it's kinda silly. I should just gone straight here. You guys know where to go, right? Straight up here and jump. There you go. Alright. Hey old man, I got my pendant. Oh, you got the Pendant of Courage. Now, I will tell you more of the legend. Three or four generations ago... See, he's not very good. His memory's fuzzy. An order of knights protected the royalty of the Helia. These knights of Hyrule were also guardians of the Pendant of Courage. Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed in the great war against evil that took place when the seven wise men created their seal. Among the descendants of the Knights of Hyrule, a hero must appear. I see. Blue, I believe you, you should get the remaining pendants and carry this with you. This is a treasure passed down by the families of the wise men. I want you to have it. Ha ha! You have the Pegasus shoes or boots. I, I'm probably going to call them boots. They look like boots. Now you can execute a devastating dash attack. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a helpful item is hidden in the cave on the east side of Lake Hylia. I already got it. That's the ice wand. Anyway, um, the Pegasus boots are great. And uh, if if anyone makes an argument that I should have waited till I got this before I did my little tour of Hyrule, you're probably right. Because uh, now we can get around a bit faster. And uh, smash into stuff. But it's good times. Uh, as long as your sword's in front of you, you'll hit sort of stuff in front of you. It's pretty good. So I suppose this is probably a decent point to wrap up the video. Finished a level, got a new item or two, got bow and arrow. Actually, really low on arrows. I would have had to fight that boss normally pretty quickly. <laughs> um, I don't think there's anything I can do in Lake Kilia actually right now. I'm going to check this little store, though, while I'm thinking about it. Nope, nothing. Um, I'm gonna buy some bombs. I've got a ton of money, so we'll buy some bombs. There you go. Also, while we're here, I'll talk to the fortune teller. Might as well. Maybe she'll tell us, because it's true, at the moment, um, as far as the quest is concerned, all we know is, well, pick up all the pendants, and they put a little picture of where they are. Which one should you get first, the blue one or the red one? How would you know? Uh, it's a mystery, it's a mystery. 
Maybe one of the fortune tellers would give you a bit of a hint. Stupid archers. Actually, give me your arrows. That's good. Never mind, you're a good archer. Thanks, buddy. All right, tell me some stuff. Hmm, you look like you might have an interesting destiny. May I tell your fortune? I'll make it cheap. Uh, I think it's ten bucks. Something like that. They don't tell you exactly, they just dock you pay. Abracadabra Alakazam! You will open a desert lock with the Book of Medora. Now, I will take 15 rupees. I hope you will be healthy. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's kind of a ripoff. But she did tell you where to go. We need to go to the desert, but we need a fancy book first. Uh, do you, does anyone remember where a fancy book might be? Do you guys remember? 20 minutes. I think we'll take a rest at our house. Yeah, this is a perfect place to take a break. Alright, guys. So, yeah. Um, can I jump in my bed? Oh, I can't jump in bed. Move that bed! <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, hope you've enjoyed our first dungeon and our first boss fight. So, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys back for the next episode of Let's Play Link to the Past with me, Blue Ankylo. Have a great day!